I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought that they wouldn't bring these back. And they did. For 60k, they brought them back. And they added the Ultimate Legend packs to them. Which is actually really cool. Still get a gold player pack. They also added NFL Draft packs to these. Weekly Wildcard Elite. Like, they added so many packs. Why did it take them this long to add this many packs in this? Nonetheless, though, let's just get right into it. Why not? So let's just see how good these packs actually are. <laughs> it, had to start. it had to start like this. There's, there's no other thing I'd rather pull than a get a gold player pack to start it off. That's like the best way to start this video off. The back... First play, first pack to get a gold player pack. Like, that's just the perfect way. I haven't opened these up, obviously, since the glitch. And, um, the glitch was very beautiful, let's be honest. But, I'm gonna guess that they're never gonna be glitched again. Because EA <laughs> Sports is not gonna make that same mistake twice. Alright. 91, 86. Yeah, these are... <laughs> My guess is the odds of pulling something good out of these is going to be like finding a needle in a haystack. Or finding EA Sports doing something positive. Like, there's there's no way. There's no way in heck they're ever going to give us anything good out of these again. But, you know what? Eh, let's just try. What's the worst that can happen, right? That's my, uh, that's like my slogan. My go-to, that's my motto for this channel. What's the worst that could happen? Like, yeah, we, we, we pull 60 million of these and we get what we get last time. Like, before the glitch, I was pulling these all the time and I was pulling nothing but crap in them. And I was losing crap ton of coins. And then the glitch happens, I make back all my coins, and I think, honestly, I probably broke even in the end. In all honesty, from all the coins I lost, I probably broke even. Man. These are, um... These are something. I'll, I'll say it like that. These are something. I don't know what that something is, but it's a something. Alright. Hey, 95. It's like... I remember when I was doing the glitch and that was like the absolute W when you pull a 95. Could you make back enough to be happy? Alright. AKA card. 83. Yeah, I'm going to go on a limb here, and this might be a far limb here, to say that I don't think these are going to be worth it anymore. Even though they got added so much stuff to them, until they, let's say a little bit down the line maybe, but right now I think they're just going to be so, pack odds are going to be so awful for them. Yeah, pack odds are going to be trash for these. And then they're going to go up, eventually. I know that for a fact. They're going to go up once, you know, eventually, and everyone's going to start talking about them, loving them again. And then they're going to plummet in price again. I mean, plummet down again. Usually how it works. Only good thing is, with all the new items, it's very possible to say... Well, I mean... It's impossible not to say. I cannot speak today. That... I mean, chances are you're not going to get real deals every single time. I guess that's the positive thing. Ooh, 93 overall. I'm gonna go with the 95, but that 93 was definitely tempting. Um, definitely 100%. It's amazing how I always feel like these mystery pack openings are gonna be like a five minute video. And they end up being longer than this. We'll see how long this one is, but usually they end up being way longer. Well, if I don't take some L's. Continue taking L's, I guess. Okay, let's see if I can get 10,000 training from this. I think that is 10,000 train. We are pretty damn close to that not being 10,000 training. Holy crap, man. Come on. Turn it around now. Pro Playmaker Pack. Okay. Got a new addition to this um, packs. 89. Ah, yay. Let's go, baby. Okay. That's actually a humongous W. And I'm actually okay with ending this video off on a humongous W. Because <laughs> that's probably the biggest W we're going to get out of these mystery packs. Listen, are they, um... 
Are they a thing? Yes. Should you open them? Probably not. Would I recommend opening them? No. But, you know what? At least in the end, we walk away with a 98 overall. And I, I guess that's like the positive here. But I just realized we have all these other cards we can sell. I also also have a Chris Harris NAT card. How much does Chris Harris actually go for? 200k. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. That's a W. Alright, let's open up the rest of these though. Because I actually have a little bit more to open up now. And you know what? I'm even going to open up this and then quick sell whatever I get here. And then we'll add some more training to this. Let's keep this. Let's keep this party going. Yeah, let me get my 293s. Even though it's supposed to be 93 plus, but you know that wasn't gonna happen. Alright, mystery pack. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Come on. This is the moment we've been all been waiting for. Hey, 95. Alright, so we're gonna do that thing where we just last forever when it comes to this video. And this video is going to end up being like 60 minutes long. Because these these packs are going to magically become good. That's what I will say if you open up mystery packs. Like, if you pull something really good, hold on to that card. Use the rest of your training. If you don't make anything or you don't get anything else that's good, walk away. You at least have the really good card you have. It's kind of how I look at these mystery packs. Because if not, you're going to walk away with nothing. But now I walk away... Would it get a gold player pack? You know, that's better than what I probably sh should have gotten that I get a gold player pack. But, I'm okay. Real deals. Could be the last pack of the video. And it did not want to be great. Guys. Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. If you open these up, what did you pull? I saw people on Twitter... Some people pulled some good stuff. Some people pulled a lot of get a gold player packs. I'm just happy they updated them. That's all I will say about the whole thing. I'm very happy that they updated them in the end. Because that is the best thing they could have done. With everything else being considered, that is probably the best thing they could have done. Is just at least update these packs so that we can actually pull something out of them. And, you know, less of a chance to pull a get a gold player pack. But... I still got, like, what, three or four Get a Gold Player Packs in this video, so it's very possible you're still going to end up getting a Get a Gold Player Pack, and you're going to be taking that L, just like myself, over and over again. And weekly wild card packs, I wonder what the odds of pulling them are. <sighs> Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one.